Good day everyone. In a previous video, I spoke about Boom Supersonic. Here's an update on the situation the company is in. If you are new here, subscribe to receive quick updates about aviation. Aviation is heading in a new direction. Since the problems occurring in Heathrow, the UK government website stated that between April and June, Heathrow is 23% off the level of air travel before COVID, meaning that air travel is increasing. They are trying to use different types of aircrafts to make air travel more efficient when it comes to time and fuel consumption. We are in a time where we are trying to use Concorde aircrafts again. Let's talk about history. The original Concorde surprised everyone for the speed and how it looked. It was introduced in the year of 1976. Compared to planes like the classic 737, this plane looked really futuristic and gave people the feel of the future. The original Concorde was operated by British Airways and Air France. However, there was a time where people didn't want to fly on the Concorde aircraft. A tragic accident happened involving a Concorde aircraft. On the 25th of July in the year 2000, Flight 4590 was going to depart Paris and go to New York. Flying the Concorde is a very expensive experience for people, so the passengers were mostly rich people. A return ticket from New York would have cost more than $9,000. When they were about to take off, the Concorde plane leaked a large amount of fuel and from that, it caused the fuel to ignite causing a big fire on the flight. This massacre caused everyone on the plane and some people on the ground to lose their lives. Sadly, in 2003 the original Concorde was decommissioned and Air France stopped operating the Concorde. Soon after, British Airways stopped operating it too. The reason is due to the operating costs. It wasn't that fuel efficient. When taxiing to the runway, the original Concorde will use the same amount of fuel as an average car. This means that the aircraft consumes a lot of fuel, which means that airlines need to spend more money on buying fuel. Now, Boom Technology is going to create a new Concorde aircraft which may be an improvement compared to the previous Concorde. It has to be a plane that helps airlines make a lot of money and has to be efficient. This is where the overture comes in. This is the name of Boom Technology's new Concorde aircraft. They were telling the media how their revolutionary aircrafts will speed up air travel and how it doesn't waste time. Will this aircraft be a good replacement to the original Concorde? This amazed airlines like American Airlines as this means that the airline can operate more flights in one day. Here's an example that Boom Supersonic gave in their promotion video. They spoke about a journey from London to New York. With aircrafts that currently exist, it would take around 6.5 hours in order to travel to New York. However, Boom Supersonic are claiming that their plane would complete the journey in 3.5 hours, which is around 3 hours less. This puts a lot of pressure on the company as big airlines like American Airlines and United are placing orders. There are some similarities between the original Concorde and the Overture. For passengers, the original Concorde takes victory as it can transport 100 people compared to the Overture which transports 65 to 88 passengers. The original Concorde also takes the victory for cruise speed at Mach 2, while the Overture has a cruise speed of Mach 1.7, but what is Mach? Mach basically refers to the speed of sound. Mach 1 equals the speed of sound, which is around 761 miles per hour. After some calculations, the Overture has a cruise speed of 1304 and the original Concorde has a cruise speed of 1534 miles per hour. The cruising altitude for the two planes are the same at 60,000 feet, but the Overture has a longer range. Now the update. They are facing a bigger problem, which is the engine. Boom Technology are trying to use sustainable aviation fuel, so they aren't relying on fossil fuels as that is a finite resource meaning it will eventually run out. However, multiple engine suppliers are refusing to work with Boom Technology. The problem with the engine started after Rolls-Royce pulled out of the partnership. Rolls-Royce didn't want to work with Boom Technology to make the overture because they weren't interested in the concept anymore. This is a big problem for Boom Technology because Rolls-Royce is their initial engine partner. If they cannot find any engine manufacturers in time, they have to postpone their plans of release. Boom Technology was thinking of releasing the plane in 2025. 
the fuel for the Overture aircrafts is going to be provided by Air Company. They are going to supply 5 million gallons per year of air made sustainable aviation fuel. Boom Technology has tried to make this plane more fuel efficient by designing the fuselage a bit differently. They made the fuselage so that it has a larger diameter towards the front of the aircraft and a smaller diameter towards the rear. This would minimize drag and maximize fuel efficiency when flying at a fast speed. Now the interior. On Boom Technology's website, they uploaded a picture of what their seats are going to look like and here's the picture. Let's look at this picture in detail. From the seat in front, you can see that it looks like a first-class seat or seats in a private jet. It has a tray table which is collapsible, which comes with every flight you see nowadays. It comes with a big television so you could watch a movie on a big screen. Next to the television, there's a cup holder to put two bottles on. Under the cup holder structure, there's a reading light or a light where you can see what's on your table. Not a fan of this because it's in an awkward position. The seat is electronically controllable. The seat also comes with a big window where you get a good view out to the sky. Flying this aircraft won't be cheap for passengers. Boom Technology is aiming to sell tickets for $5,000. Hopefully Boom Technology makes it, but that's it for today. Will Boom Technology make it? See you in the next video.